everybody. Uh, these bugs are killing me. <laughs> but welcome to another video of Monica Barnes Art. Today, um, I am ready to do uh, kill some bugs here. I am ready to kill some bugs. Today, I'm getting ready to do a resin painting. <laughs> Jesus, I don't know if you can see them on camera, but they are like, I don't know. Um, today, I'm getting ready to do a resin painting. I'm going to get all set up and I'll be right back. Well, it's actually not a painting, it's a resin pyramid. And I poured about a quarter of a cup of resin into this pyramid. And I went outside and I picked a dandelion. I call them wishes. Because when we were little, you would blow on them, you know. Some people call them weeds, whatever. So I picked it and I'm placing it into the resin. It's very simple trying to move the camera so you can see it better and I'm just going to push down on it gently very slowly as you can see it takes a little while you just have to have patience and let it sink down and then pull it up a little bit when you're done just a little there you go you don't want to break any of the little wishes off Pouring a little bit more resin on top. You don't need to, but I'm filling it up just a little bit more. And then I'm going to cut the stem because it's a little bit long. And voila. Perfect. How about that? Pouring a little bit more resin in there. This is going to be the top of my pyramid. It's going to be a perfect little wish. At least I hope so anyway. Um, I did off camera add a little bit of, of glitter and I am using liquid diamond from the epoxy resin store. That's the website you want to go to. When you go to their website and you go to checkout, if you enter the code Monica 20 at checkout, you'll get 20% off your resin. This shit is amazing. No bubbles. It's absolutely awesome. Now, uh, these are real roses that I'm putting into the resin, but I did dry them out first. I used what you call silicone gel. You can get it um, underneath my description. There is a link for it. You just click on the link, you go to Amazon, and uh, you can purchase the little silicone gel beads and dry some flowers out what the difference is if you hang them upside down they lose a lot of color they become disformed in the silicone gel it actually keeps them looking fresh looking brand new and it keeps all their color amazing stuff now if you're all wondering why i put this little square inside of the pyramid that's because i'm going to add lights to this pyramid i don't want the lights in set in the resin because if the lights burn out, then you're, you know, shit out of luck. Your pyramid's not going to light up no more. This way, with this silicone square that's eventually going to come out and create a hole, you can put any type of light you want in there. Now, I'm cutting leaves. I use my scissors to dip it in there. Uh, most people, most normal people <laughs> would get like a pair of tweezers or something, you know. But me, I just, I use my scissors for everything. I clean them really good with alcohol when I'm done, and that takes all the resin off. I am cutting up a little baby's breath also. So I did let this sit for 24 hours. So the next day I get up and I do another layer. I have all these yellow daisies all ready to go. And I'm pretty excited to get started. I just love these things. Every time I make one, I am like a little kid in a candy store. I just have so much fun making them. You never know how it's going to look. You think it's going to look one way, and it always comes out a little bit different, which is pretty amazing, exciting. It's just a lot of fun. So here I have the daisies, and I'm just going to place them upside down but it's kind of sideways so you can view it you know from the outside i'm going to fast forward this a little bit
there's no limitation to your imagination. You could put anything in these pyramids and it would look amazing. I just have so much fun. I'm always thinking what I can do, what I can put in there to make it look different, you know, make it look pretty. So use your imagination and just have fun. Okay, so I am going to let this sit overnight, 24 hours later again. And now I have some gold flakes and silver flakes. It's called, I don't know what it's called. It's called glitter or something. And I mixed that in with the resin and I'm just going to do another layer. Now I'm going to get my tongue depressor and kind of go through it a little bit in case there's any air bubbles. And that will release any bubbles that I've created. A little bit more clear just to uh, finish it up a little bit. Okay, so here we are again a day later. I have a little bit of gold here that I'm going to mix in with to my resin. I'm going to mix it really good and do my final coat. Here we go. Pour it in there. Then I'm going to let this sit overnight. And then tomorrow will be the big reveal. And here we go. First, the little silicone square cube has to come out as you can see it's not quite that easy it's not hard either okay so here we go da, 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 da. it's like Christmas time opening a present wow look how absolutely stunningly beautiful this thing is Oh my gosh, the wish on top is so perfect. The little glitter came down. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. And the roses, the flowers. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like what you see or if you learned something from me today. You see how deep that hole is? You can use just about any type of light you can think of. Look how pretty. I am obsessed. I absolutely love this. Let me know your thoughts and comments on this pyramid. If anyone would like me to make them a custom pyramid, hit me up on... You can email me at uh, monicabarnesart at gmail.com. Also, check me out on Instagram under monicabarnesart. And if you're an artist and would like to post some of your art, Go to my Facebook page. I'll put a link below.